The Interstellar Boundary Explorer mission, called IBEX, provides a glimpse of the heavens that surround the solar system, allowing us to better understand our place in the universe. IBEX is a NASA small explorer mission led by Southwest Research Institute. The spacecraft itself is quite compact, about the size of a round coffee table and weighing around 200 pounds. IBEX was launched using a Pegasus rocket dropped from an aircraft, which usually only delivers payloads to low Earth orbit. For IBEX, rocket scientists right here in San Antonio developed a new launch capability by adding a solid rocket motor to boost IBEX into a high altitude orbit. In fact, the rocket motor in front of you was used for a spinning ground test. It's an exact twin of the motor that took the spacecraft almost as far out as the moon, a vantage point that allows IBEX to study the edge of our solar system. As it travels through our galaxy, our solar system is surrounded and protected by our heliosphere, a bubble in space inflated by the solar wind as charged particles stream out from the sun in all directions at about a million miles per hour. We think of space as empty, but it contains traces of gas, dust, and charged or ionized gas, together called the interstellar medium. At the edge of our solar system, the solar wind and the interstellar medium interact, creating energetic neutral atoms, or ENAs. IBEX images and measures these ENAs using two cameras to make maps of the boundary region. The scientific community expected a smoothly varying flux of ENAs, what IBEX discovered was an unexpected arc-shaped region in the sky with higher levels of ENAs, forming a bright, narrow ribbon on all sky maps. Known as the IBEX ribbon, this region is associated with magnetic fields in the interstellar medium outside our solar system. IBEX also has imaged the tail of our heliosphere for the first time. This sky map, looking from the Earth down the tail, shows two lobes of slower solar wind plasma shown in yellow, sandwiched between fast solar wind regions toward the poles, shown in red. 